Hello everyone, I will show you a demo of our paper, a novel automated construction scheme for efficiently developing cloud manufacturing services. There are two parts of automatic construction in this demo. The first part is about the automatic virtual metrology service, and the second part is about intelligent yield management service. Let's see the first part, the automatic construction of automatic virtual metrology service. First, we select the DLL file and click start parsing. Then the system will show the method name, input type, output type of all methods in the SSLP. As written in the paper, in here we will choose the five key methods of AVM, the model fan out, transfer command to VMM, set combination, refresh AVM, and activate AVM. These are the five key methods of AVM as written in the paper. And then we click select done to complete selection and construct surface to start automatic construction. And then the system will display the information of web APIs of the created AVM cloud manufacturing service. For a demo, we'll conduct an online virtual metrology using the web GUI to send data to VMA, VMA terminal to forward the data to VMM, and AVM client to display the result. And when we send the data, we can see at the bottom part we have the send data notification. After sending data to VMM, we see the predictive value at the upper part in the real time. The black dot is the estimated value and the purple one is the measured value. Now we go to the part two, the automatic construction of intelligent yield management service. First, we select the jar package file and then click start parsing. Wait until the process is finished and again, the system will show the method name, input type, and output type for all target methods in here. We choose the KSA method main API which is the TPOGA runner. Click select done to complete selection and construct surface to start automatic construction. And then the system will display the information of web API. For testing the demo, we use the GUE and for the Y, we choose the yield by lot. For the X, we use historical production data by lot, and then we filter the data by date and time. And here is the result of using the previously created web API. In here, we can see the top 10 results that may cause the yield loss. These are the top 10 root causes that causing the yield loss. And that is for the demo. Thank you.